I've been doing a little bit of work today. Um, I don't even know where to start right now. So I got uh, the entire warehouse opened up to where all the shelves are ready to be filled. Um, I got about, I don't know, a quarter of the doors moved. Uh, I'm about dehydrated right now. The only water I got is freaking hot. But um, all the extra pieces of shelving has been moved out. The stuff I'm not going to use for right now. Uh, ooh, I, and I got a surprise. I'm going to tell you in a little bit. But I got all the uh, shelves moved out, which was a ton of weight. All the little bits and pieces, all of it's out of the shop. Uh, everything on the shelves now are things that are ready to be sold. Eh, most of the way. <laughs> uh, Zero Res came over and uh, cleaned up the office. Uh, the guy who came out was good. And he tried. But it didn't quite make it as good as what I was hoping for. I knew it wasn't going to be 100%. But hopefully, as long as the biological stuff is going, I guess that's good. So, but uh, it's still stained. I think what I'm going to end up doing is just finding some uh, like concrete uh, paint stain sealer crap, you know, and just pour it down there and spread it out. Um, I found some people who lost their cat and I'm going to talk with them about if they want to maybe take Penentheus and give her a good home. Uh, I haven't talked to them yet so I really don't know. Holy crap. I've been outside working all day. I know I probably look like crap right now. I look like crap anyways but worse than normal. Um, but yeah. Uh, I'm thinking here in a few months I want to start traveling a little bit and you know some really things that some behind the scene things are really happening right now a lot of moving parts a lot of late night you know scribbling on a notepad um, I'm writing down a couple of things which I'm hopefully going to make a, a reality on this channel I tell you man if just like one or two things happen it's gonna be insane I've been for those who know me, I've been re I got some ideas of grandeur, and man, I'm just hoping I can bring them to reality. Uh, I'm thinking about starting another channel on another uh, hosting site because there's a lot of things I want to talk about, but it doesn't really fit the narrative here. Uh, you know, like it, this is this channel is to kind of show people on. How not to be a hoarder, how to get rid of your stuff, how to hustle, different ways of making money, and that's kind of some of the things that I'm, I got planned. Um, gotta just, it's so difficult to just get this stuff moved around. Well, the 90s are back. I just saw a, a Mini Cooper with a very, you know, 1989, 1990 paint job with the grid and the, the water and all that stuff. Yeah, um, if you can tell in the trailer behind me, I got some wood products. I went over to the storage unit that had all the furniture, and I'm starting to move out some of that. Um, right behind me is all the clothing, the uh, forms, the little displays for the clothing. Um, the clothing wasn't really selling, and I'm really concerned about it getting dirty in the warehouse. So um, I moved that to my house, and that's one of the things that I'm really thinking about. Um, once I get a couple of things sold and I get some things uh, leveled out um, hold on one second I'll pause you guys alright sorry about that got the phone call I've been waiting on all day making a a birthday lunch for a friend of mine we're going to do that next Tuesday Ooh, I am severely dehydrated right now alright so where was I I don't even remember so um Anyway, big things are happening. So I'm going to make a phone call tomorrow and I'm gonna let fate decide, but my old booth at the flea market opened up and if they have it for Wednesday, see they want me to come in Friday, pay for it, but I ain't no way I'm gonna be able to use it this weekend. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, hey, if y'all rent it, fine, that's fate deciding. If you don't rent it, I will be in there Wednesday morning and start moving in. 
I said, but it's still four weeks no matter what. But if I rent it Friday, I only get three weekends. And I just don't want to pay for a month and only get three weekends. It's just, you know, I'm not going to do it. So I'm just going to let them know. I say, hey, this is, this is what I'm offering. If they rent it, then I don't have to worry about doing more work and move a whole bunch of shit up there. So, oh, plus it's going to be a very hot summer. So another thing that we're doing, um, that I'm doing, I ah, fuck it, we doing it. Um, I'm really thinking about uh, putting internet my, at my house. Cause I don't know if I mentioned to you guys, but I talked with the lawyers. They said it was a really, really, really bad idea for me to rent out my primary residence because there are just so many things that could happen. If you know, if slip and fall, liability, even with insurance. It just, it puts my house at risk when I really don't need the money. Oh shit, I could probably win. Um, but I really don't uh, absolutely have to have the money. So I figured, you know what I can do? I'm going to go ahead and put internet at my house, which I haven't had since the 90s. Nope, since early 2000s. So I'm going to put the internet at my house. I'm going to get my computer, another extra computer I have set up. Um... And then what I'm going to do is live stream on Twitch me listing things on Poshmark and eBay. So that way I can kind of talk about my experiences as learning how to do it. And sorry, I'm waiting for this car to do whatever the hell they're doing. Oh, it's a Karen. It's a Karen. She looked right at me knowing she was going too damn slow. Uh, I want to say things to you, but I'm on the internet. So, she looked right at me, knowing she slowed down just to keep me out in the middle of the road. Oh, that's a, that's a Karen move right there. Anyway, what was I saying? So, yeah, I'm really thinking about um, uh, setting up internet at my house and doing, like, a thing with uh, Poshmark, eBay, and then basically going on Twitch and live streaming and having some outrageous nights of me selling clothes and random bullshit and you know and um, there is a way to do an, a live auction on Twitch I don't know exactly how to do it yet but I'm gonna do my homework and then uh, while we're on Twitch we'll learn how to do some editing videos and you know I'm just gonna go and watch YouTube videos and kind of just do commentary over it I don't expect a whole lot of people to show up on Twitch but uh, it's part of the grind. It's, it's part of what I'm going to do to, to see if I can make some kind of money. Oh, I'm all sticky and nasty. I don't care. Um, so, last video, I think I talked about it, but I don't know if I actually told you. I ended up winging myself. Um, very not happy about that. I got down to 257. I weighed myself yesterday. I'm back at 270. So, that pissed me off. So, I haven't ate much today very dehydrated <laughs> probably lost five pounds just today um, but yeah I'm getting back on that grind extremely aggressively so I that, that oh my god you don't know how much that pissed me off like I just oh I, I'm not gonna say I lost it I definitely didn't find it so um, actually I, I did find it I found all the damn weight bastards now, I know what it is it's me going back up to Monroe's and having their damn food I even told them today while at Monroe's eating their damn food I actually told them I was like I was like, like I'm trying real hard and, and y'all bitches just keep feeding me <laughs> so but yeah um, I, well hell uh, is it open yep it opened uh, let's go look at the shop and I'll show you what I did. So give me a second here. I'm trying to figure out how to pull you guys off here without. Here we go. Uh, oh, let me turn it around. Let me turn it around. There we go. There we go. Bright sunshine. So this is the stuff I brought. Just a couple pieces because I was moving all that. Holy crap. So yeah. Um, <laughs> I promise you I've been working in here. Uh. I don't know how to get back there. I done threw everything in here so quick trying to hurry up and get to the storage unit. But I'm selling my tub. There's a tub there. Um, and everything that's here 
I'm dropping the prices on it a lot this weekend or this this Friday. So but here we can walk back this way. So this is a lot more opened up. I'm still uh, I made a rack which I put the tub on. So <laughs> but uh, this was that weird table that was all falling apart. I took it all apart and it's a welded metal frame with the casters on the bottom. So um, I got a piece of wood right here that I cut for it. So I'm going to screw that down to the top and then I'm going to, you know, put like some of the boat stuff here. I got to figure out where I'm going to put the boat stuff. But we moved the books um, back over here and starting to get, you know, it's, it's a little, it needs a little fine tuning, but for the most part, um, you know, a lot of this stuff that was on here was cleared off. Now it's just a matter of putting stickers on it. Uh, got this row here cleaned off. This is my mom's stuff. So I got to do a little cleaning and fine tuning, but for the most part, um, I'm going to add some more shelves here, and this is going to be my mom's shelf. Um, there's just some random stuff. I got to put some more shelves here, and the guy was supposed to pick up this stuff here. He didn't pick it up, so I'm going to, I might move that out front. So um, this area here is all opened up and cleared out. If you remember last time, it was all full of stuff. Um, I got to move the doors. So uh, these, the, uh, the racks that I was taking outside, um, these are lined up here where the clothes were. I'm going to put a table right there and block that off. So, and then tonight, after I go home, take a shower and come back, I'm going to take a picture of this wall here. Ooh, wow. I didn't realize. Hold on. I'm going to clean you guys off. Do, 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 do. Ah, it looks a little bit better. Um, but I'm going to, uh, take a picture of this, put this on the interweb, uh, for sale and uh, basically what it is it's a 16 foot by seven foot tall steel pegboard it's not that wood crap so this thing's like 1700 dollars for what it is I, I i think i got 500 on it plus i got a whole bag of pegs there that i'm gonna try to hang some up on the wall but yeah what i want to do is uh take off these two pieces here at least move this stuff over and then all the doors can kind of fit from here to there. And we got, hold on, nope, ah, yeah. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, for the most, once I get some of this stuff rolled outside for the garage sale, then, you know, everything's gonna open up in here. But right now I just got a lot of stuff thrown in here. Now this is the part that I'm a little ashamed of, just a little. So yeah, my workshop is definitely overflow right now, so. Um, but that's all this stuff is gonna go over here on the shelves. That's what it's all about. Huh? Okay. Anyways, and I was gonna put up some more shelving in the office. Oh, let me show you this too. Ooh, ooh, ooh! It's not like a damn monkey. Um, this is my little home base area. So I got this set up here. Got me a little uh place where i can sit down i'm gonna do a little microwave and a hot plate so i can cook up some chili things like that got my little refrigerator ta-da ain't much shit in there just water because i'm trying to be a skinny bitch i don't need a whole bunch of food and that's all my candy right there applesauce that's all i'm eating for candy so yeah i'm definitely back on that grind man i just i cannot believe i gained all that damn weight oh i'm gonna be bitching about that until i get back down i'm supposed to be at 250 i'm at 270 that's 20 pounds that's a lot of blubber all right, so anyways, and let's go in here. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, dresser is going against the wall. This stuff here is going against the wall. So, all this is going to be cleared out here pretty quick. Um, it's all on wheels. So I'm just going to roll it over there. And then, um, they. oh, here, let me show you. They did clean up in here. So, but, like, you can still definitely see the stains. So, um I said it was like three months of her pissing on the floor and you know it's just it's what happened it's and it's very porous concrete it's never been sealed so i don't hold it against it i was just hoping for more that's it so that might be my mind fucking me up so but i'm gonna uh these two shelves here i got one two bam two more of them going up and that's gonna be a huge amount of space in here um i was gonna line this whole wall but for right this second, I'm going to hold off because I got a bunch of random shelves and a bunch of kind of like, you know, these and this random thing and the dresser. So I got all these like odd things that I'm going to put up against this wall here and kind of, you know, assess what I want to do in here. 
I mean, I, I have the shelves, so I can always put them up. It's not like it's, you know, oh my God, if I don't do it now, I'll never do it. Nope. Uh, so, but all in all, really, uh, really crazy day. Wild, hectic day. So, and my, and, uh, my helper did come over. So, not such a great day today because, you know, her kid was really acting up and she brings her kid with her. So, she was always distracted by her kid. He likes to run out into the street. So, yeah. <sighs> I don't even want to talk about it no more. So, but this is the wall of tools. You know, I said all day tomorrow, I'm going to concentrate on just getting the um, things where they need to be and just pricing and just kind of concentrating on little things like that. So, ooh, that's interesting. I might do that. So, but yeah, I'm going to, tonight I'm going to start getting the, uh, you know, all these doors moved over. Uh, get them put up in that little cubby, tear these down. So I got a little bit of stuff to do. So, uh, found out about this glass. It's hopefully going to come in uh, in two weeks so I can get that out of here, be done with that, and at least get some of my money back. So, this is a, by the way, this is a six foot tub. This is a big, big tub. I'm going to put like a hundred bucks on it. It does have a couple little rub marks, you know, because this is an old tub. It has a little chip here, but if you're putting it against the wall, you can cover that up. So, it is pretty cool. I was going to put it in the shop here. Which I kind of want. I still want to, but I just don't know if it's worth it. So, Cause it'd be nice to have a tub here that just kind of, you know, there's no water heater. So, it's not like I'd, I could have hot water. But, you know, just to put in there and just kind of soak for a little while because... I do miss a good tub. I don't know. It does have some little stuff on the bottom, but I don't give a shit about that. I'm sitting here thinking whether I want to keep it or not. Because it will fit. By the way, I, I measured it. And it will fit perfectly. Right there. Like right there it fits perfectly in that spot and it would come out to about like right here and there's already the drain there's already water there's already everything right here and it's on the right side so i could just you know i basically build it up to where actually you know what i can make a p-trap down there hmm and it wouldn't be have to be as high as i think it would be Ah, crap. Now I'm done thinking about something else. But it would be kind of nice to have like a little tub here. And then I was going to take the water and the drain and run it over here and have a little sink here. So, Or, you know what? I could just use the tub as a big-ass sink. Run a little water up. Put a little spigot right there and another little faucet down there. Ah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Anyways, I'm not going to have you guys just listen to me think. Yes, I said that correctly. Oh, ooh, water. I'm going to get me a water. So, I'm going to upload this. Uh, you guys pretty much see what's going on. Tomorrow I'm having another garage sale. Uh, mainly, I'm just posting on Craigslist and Facebook. If you want to come over, fine. If not, I'm just going to be here getting stuff ready. Oh, and the surprise. I almost forgot about the surprise. Oh, wait, I already told you about the flea market. Never mind. All right, that's it for now. Peace, love, money, and I'm out of here.